everyone. Welcome to Snow Break Containment Zone. So, let me start off by sharing my appreciation with the devs um, for the improvements from the CBT and uh, also coming into global launch. It's a very big difference. Um, one particular area is the um, character detail, the face, the detail in the body. It's 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 really different. Um, previously, it used to be dull in CBT, but now they have they have really outdid themselves. Um, also, the you know the stages wherein you perform your stages here in the, in the main story or where you perform battles, it has given us a lot of details okay so for those who don't know what this game is i'm gonna give you guys a brief background so this game is a third person shooter mostly waifus and guns you level up your account um you level up your waifus and level up your guns so basically if i give you if i give you a brief view of the waifus that i have so they have skills you level them up you have logistics which are buffs given to your waifus um, manifestation is if you have copies again it increases your character stats and neuronics as well this one improves the character's skills okay so it's that um it's that simple you can actually reset here i think this is only just once so let's go back as for the guns um uh, let me go back to the guns weapons again it's also about improving your weapons you can upgrade you can modify them um it's still upgrading and you can modify parts so as you can see different parts goes into different places which adds a little bit more detail to the game which i really really like people who like guns like to upgrade like to tinker with their weapons so there you are again this is about clearing stages. Right now, we have your main story, Gigalink, Dispatch, Personal File, Operation. These are the content, but I'm sure there will be um, small additional games in between every time the update comes in. And uh, also, just want to go through, there is a base system, guys. The base system is like your barracks. Um, as you can see here, I won't go into the base system. I'll do a different video on the complexities of the base system. Not really complex, but again, it takes a while for you to to, to understand. So you can run around, interact with the waifus here. And let's go back to the main uh, page. Okay, so now that you know the overall, what do you call it? The overall feel of the game. So... Let me give you my my thoughts, my, my real thoughts on um, the game, the good and the bad. So, play this in mobile and PC. Right now, I'm playing it in PC. Um, there's really a big difference in terms of how you play, how fast you play, and how easy is it to play, or the, 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 the playing ease. For mobile, definitely, you will have to overcome the learning curve for mobile. Um, I've tried it using a controller. I tried using a, a Nintendo controller. It's also com compatible Nintendo Switch controller, uh, compatible with Xbox and PlayStation controller. But again, the learning curve is there. Um, if you really want to kind of give you guys a easier time in playing mobile, mobile whether it's Android or iOS definitely you would want a controller but again if you don't if you just use your tablet or your phone then the curve in terms of learning how to play faster is going to be bigger so again the learning curve from just android i'm uh, sorry um mobile or mobile and controller to pc is going to be different so difficult is going to be on mobile mobile with controller is a bit in the middle and the easiest one would come if you're playing the pc because you definitely you're going to be using a mouse so that's the difference um 
I'm happy that they're giving the players options on which platform to choose. You could play on, you know, two platforms. I play in my iPad, I play here, but I prefer the PC, of course. Going back to the UI, the UI is a bit cluttered. So if you can see here, um, they could actually merge this bar here on top to decrease clutter. This one, this one is for the paid currency. They could have included it in the shop. And uh, hopefully they could clean up the UI because if you are a beginner, this will be overwhelming for me and confusing at times because even though they, they also have this supernova, this is, these are rewards by the way, surveys here. But again, it's just a it just needs a little bit of tidying up. That is what I'm saying. The UI is actually okay. It doesn't have any lag whatsoever. So very good in terms of um, not, uh, let me revert that. Good in terms of UI. There is just a bit of uh, decluttering in terms of where the icons are placed. Uh, and if they could minimize the icons, better. Okay, so graphics, again, going back, they did themselves in terms of the graphics, the gameplay. Free outfits early. So going back to the game, as early as day one and day two, we have free outfits. So just going to be showing you the first free outfit that we have. One is for life. This was given to all the players as a pre-registration reward. The next one is going to be uh, this one from Moxir. This is the second one. So this outfit I really, really like. I'm not sure if I would use her in the near future, but I appreciate the devs in terms of the, what do you call this? The 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 skins or outfits that they have given out so far so next up is this one for fenny so for fenny she's using this this is these are all four star outfits by the way that they're giving out so we have uh this one account one two three okay i left out freesha freesha is also a free skin that they gave out so that is four free skins so far already okay and also if you are worried about content there are a lot of content to go around there will be um i think they based on the banners that they have uh, rolled out i think updates would be every two weeks i'm not sure um hopefully it's going to be a weekly update even if it's a small update small content update but content will come every week or every two weeks that i'm not sure at this point but definitely hope um content th 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 there's a lot of content guys so you have giggling dispatch main store operation be my guest i'm actually swapped with content i'm also doing a lot of other things but the last one that i'd like to discuss would be the gotcha system so the gotcha system you can actually check out the rules here so every 10 you get a purple then once you for example get a yellow one um more or less you could the 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 what do you call this the count here resets so earlier i got yao ahead of the the pity count the the pity threshold so it resets and it's give, it gives you a little bit more of count for the pity. So again, um, first pity, if you don't get the character there um, that you want, for example, what I got was Yao for Kaguya's banner. The second pity is a guarantee for Kaguya. So more or less, that is where I'm going to. So far, I think, I think the gacha system is is actually it's usual it's the same nothing special it's the usual gotcha system for every game um i'm just glad that the pt system here especially for the limited is only up to 80 it doesn't go over 100 
So this one is a 50 for the beginner. So for those who are just beginning, go after the beginner banner. You'll save a lot here, especially if you're free to play. So the pity system here is only up to 50. If your goal is just to get any of the, the orange, not the yellow, the orange um, characters or the five star characters, then definitely um, go for the beginner one. And also there is a banner for the weapon so this is a limited banner for the weapon for kaguya as well but again um my stand on weapons um you get them if if you have extra um as for you know as for uh, the gacha uh, choice i would still go with the character gacha over the uh gun gacha because characters you will guns there there are actually other guns that you could get that aren't you know aren't as bad especially for the purple ones for your characters to use but again go for the character gacha or the waifu gacha when you do a pull and really save for those so that is it i've been blabbering <laughs> ready too much and um those are my first impressions i'm actually excited that i'm playing this. this is the first third person shooter that i'm covering in this channel and hopefully i've been so engrossed in this game i'm already engrossed from this game from cbt and up to now it's just too bad that, that uh, i was on vacation for a long while that i had to stop playing after a bit of cbt but again this game rocks i just hope you guys play it as well and try to experience what this game has to offer to you so thank you very much guys so what you think of my first impressions comment down on what are your impressions for the game take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here